All right, I am happy to be joined right now by another newly acquired Ford of the Johnstown Tomahawks, Ryan McNeely. And Ryan, you are a guy that's been around this leg. This is your fourth team, as you mentioned just before we went on the air here. Um, Johnstown is a, a, a leg or a team in this leg that the fans have a lot of passion. You, you must be excited to be here. Definitely. I mean, I have had the privilege to play for some pretty successful teams. I mean, I've met tons of great guys over the years, but being here in Johnstown, I'm definitely hoping that I stick. I mean, just the atmosphere here, how we get treated, it's it's all just top notch. So, I mean, I want to be a part of that, and I can't wait to get things started. Now, you are an Arizona kid That's from correct. birth. Um, how'd you get started playing ice hockey? Not, not a lot of ice in Arizona, I wouldn't think. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, I'm actually one of six boys, so uh, always just looking up to my older brothers. I mean, they always played hockey, street hockey outside, so that kind of got me into it. And I'm, I'm kind of the only one that took it competitively and followed through with it, but I just fell in love with it at a young age and kind of just stuck through it, you know. Now, you, you, you're a penalty-killing guy. You, you like to kill penalties. Um, Johnstown had a very good penalty killing unit last year. They lost perhaps their best penalty killer in Cody Boyd. Is that a role that you really embrace? Yeah, you know, I mean, kind of whatever role that coach puts me into, I'm going to do my best at, obviously. And if that's killing penalties and blocking shots, I mean, like I said, I'm going to do whatever I can to get the guys going and just get wins under our belt. Now, the coaching staff here with uh, Jason Spence and Mike Letizia, uh, these guys like a hard nosed brand of hockey. Uh, how does that suit your game? I mean, I definitely like to be a part of it. Um, just being here for a week and a half, I mean, you can just tell in practices and everything's high paced. The coaches love hard working, which is, I mean, something that I definitely think I, I do. So, like I said, it, it's just good to be a part of it, and I'm looking forward to getting things started. Now, talk about the locker room. Good bunch of guys. Have you, did you know anybody before you got here, or, you know, is uh, all the guys new to you? And, and it seems like a pretty tight knit group of guys from everything I can gather. Yeah, we've definitely got a, a tight-knit group of guys. I mean, coming into things, I knew a couple of guys. I knew Cody Gilling, who was actually just here for a day when I was here, and then he ended up getting traded for, for Omar. And I knew um, Trevor Huser, who I played with in Corpus Christi at the end of last season. So it's kind of good to know a few guys coming into things just so I can kind of be myself around the guys. And it just, like I said, makes things easier. So that was helpful. But, I mean, it only took maybe four or five days to get comfortable with everyone, and now it's like I've been here all year. One last question. Uh, this is going to be your first home games this weekend. Any nerves going on, or what did anybody tell you about what to expect from the crowd? Uh, you know, what what to expect maybe from the passion of the city in terms of hockey? Yeah, I don't know if nerves would be the right word to describe it, but just excitement. I mean, I've heard nothing but good things about games here. I've heard it's an unreal atmosphere, so I'm, yeah. I'm really just, I just can't wait for Saturday. So, Johnstown Tomahawks forward, Ryan McNeely.